Welcome ladies and gents, Mr. Pisto here, and today we have episode 2 of our learning curve series. We are going to be looking into fuel, turbo fuel, and even trains this episode, so grab a brew, sit back, relax, as we crack into this video. If you remember, in the previous episode, I showcased this old fuel power build that I tried making all by myself with somewhat varying results. Using 1800 oil, I was able to make between 8 to 11,000 power, which I think we can all agree is shocking efficiency. So for this build, I had a friend of mine called Reverick helping me out. He talked me through what alternate recipes to look for, what machines I needed, and most importantly, the different stages of the process. All of the design decisions, or lack thereof, however, were my choice. He simply helped me figure out the process for a more efficient power cell. The alternate recipes that I will be using for this build are the heavy oil residue recipe, diluted packaged fuel, and compacted coal. I started out by scouting an area that had oil nodes that I could get at least 600 oil from. That also needed to be reasonably close to somewhere I could make compacted coal and have a decent water source nearby. Lucky enough, there was a near perfect spot just around the corner from the main base. So the first step I went with was actually unlocking trains for the first time so we could not only transport the compacted coal to the power plant easier, but we could also transfer the power itself. Because for those of you who don't know, train tracks can actually be used to carry power from one location to another, so you don't need to have a million and one power poles dotted all around your world. Now that we had the trains unlocked, I started on the compacted coal build as I thought this would be the easiest part to set up, so why not just get it out of the way? Just north of where the main base is situated, we found a pure sulfur node and also two normal coal nodes, which will pair perfectly together to make our compacted coal as the alternate recipe requires equal parts sulfur and coal. This area is also great because there is a ton of spare space for us to add in a train station to. So I got to work placing the foundations for our epic new build. Once done, I sorted out the maths and got to organizing the assemblers needed. But of course, I worked things out wrong like always and ended up placing far too many machines, which I didn't notice until around 4 days after finishing the build. So for now, let's just pretend that it's all working fine. The next task I gave myself was figuring out the train tracks to transport our perfectly calculated compacted coal. I had a lot of fun messing with trains for the first time and I'm looking forward to diving more in depth with them in the future having multiple trains on the same track and all that funky stuff, but for now, this build was super simple. We just needed one track with a station each end and then a loop after the station for trains to turn around. As I said earlier, this would also double as our way to transport the power back to the main base. We ended up laying the tracks through this beautiful ravine right up to where we were going to build the main power station. I started off by combining all of the crude oil into one line and then feeding that into 20 refineries all set to the heavy oil residue alternate recipe, making 40 HOR, which is heavy oil residue, and 20 polymer resin per minute. I just send the resin straight into an awesome sink to get rid of it and then pipe the HOR over to the next set of refineries. On the way, I siphon off 100 HOR from each line as we're currently producing 800 HOR per minute and we only need 600 for the fuel. So with the 200 that's spare, we are turning this into 600 petroleum coke per minute and then sending it back towards the main base on the train we set up earlier. The 600 HOR is then being fed into 20 refineries where we combine it with packaged water to produce the diluted packaged fuel, which then gets fed into a packager to separate the fuel from the canisters. The canisters are fed underneath to a storage container to be recycled and the fuel gets fed into pipes. I combine two sets of 10 pipes giving us two lots of 600 fuel. I send one 600 pipe straight up top to where the fuel generators are located and then I make turbo fuel with the other 600 pipe. By combining 600 fuel and 400 compacted coal, we should end up with 500 turbo fuel per minute, which we then feed up top to the fuel generators, which are all overclocked to save on space. Now, before anyone says anything, I am using a mod that allows me to craft power shards as building is my favorite part of the game, and I don't really enjoy the exploration at this moment. But I digress, let's move on to the final step setting up the fuel generators. 
I wanted to build these above the refineries to try and save on space a little, but I also thought it would give me more options and make more of an interesting shape when I eventually come to en enclose this build, finally making it look pretty. I connected each fuel pipe to an industrial fluid buffer before finally connecting to all the fuel generators. I have the turbo fuel feeding 44 generators overclocked to 250% and then one underclock to 44.444% and the normal fuel fuel is feeding into 20 generators all overclocked to 250%. Now this was a power station I could be really proud of. While it may not be the prettiest thing to look at, I had a ton of fun working on a bit of a bigger project, colour coding all the pipes and putting more planning into things than I would have normally done. But what's this? I am still getting power fluctuations. The machines that are meant to be making turbo fuel seem to be turning on and off at random. How is this possible? I have gone over the maths numerous times, everything should be working at peak efficiency. But alas, I am at a loss as to how I can fix these issues myself. So please, if anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments below or by sending me a message on Discord as I really just don't know what is going wrong right now. But that does it for this video, so thank you so much for watching. Remember you can catch me live on Twitch where I stream most days, a link will be in the description below, and also there will be a link to my Discord where you can get involved with the community. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode, have a fantastic rest of your day, but above all, keep building pioneers.